thank you everyone. Good evening and let's get started. Let's start from the problem we are solving for. Well, we should start from the problem we are solving for. Yeah. Uh, some technical issues. You need technical issues in all so presentations. I would very love to see the township tomorrow. They will cut up the face of the ground so that it cannot be seen. They will devour what little you have left after the hail, including every tree that is growing in your fields. 2020 has been a hell of a year, hasn't it? But what happened is not a joke. Still today, a tiny insect can appear and throw entire continents into a food security crisis. The desert locust invaded 25 countries and made over $1.3 billion in damages. And this is not an isolated case. Take the Florida citrus production. It's been growing for 50 years until, since 2005, volumes went down by 80%. What happened? A tiny insect invaded the country from Asia, the citrus psyllid, and killed most citrus trees. Another example, since 2016, the fall armyworm has invaded 70 countries across Africa and Asia, and is now putting at risk the food security of over 600 million people. Insects are the costliest animal group to society. Every year, they ravage 25% of crops and they cause 20% of all infectious diseases. In total, they make $500 billion of damages to society. And what tools do we have to fight back? The same that we used 100 years ago, chemical insecticides. But with all these damages, why don't we just spray more? The problem is that insecticides have strong limitations. When we use them, we spray toxic substances over a certain area, and we hope that the target insects pass by and die. But many things can go wrong. First, insects can just escape, thriving and hiding in separate breeding sites, waiting for the right moment to reinvade. Or they can develop resistance and survive. Second, insects are toxic for everyone affecting human health and the environment. They get into soil and groundwater, they leave residues on the food we eat, they kill beneficial insects such as bees at the detriment of pollination and biodiversity. For all these reasons, regulators are taking away more and more of these products from the market, which is great news for the environment. Without insecticides, also the associated issues go away. But it is a disaster for farmers and public health authorities who are left with less, less and less tools to fight harmful insects. This is why, at Biosentis, we propose a radically new approach. Instead of killing harmful insects with toxic substances, we can use genetics to prevent their birth. How? We engineer, rear and release males with special traits and then we use our technology leverages the most powerful and natural force in the world, love. It is rooted in the nature of our males to go and look for their life companions, insects tend to mate only once, and reproduce with them. But we said our males are special. It means that they will only generate more special males, and so on and so forth in several cycles, achieving extremely effective suppression. Here, here we see how this works in an insect population which is initially in equilibrium until we start releasing our special insects, which effectively block reproduction, causing an extremely effective suppression. And another characteristic of our solution is that it is designed to disappear over time. So if we stop releasing, the wild population will recover. Basically, it is reversible. But where does all this come from? We build on a technology that has been invented in 2003. You might have heard about a technology that can eradicate malaria with the release of modified mosquitoes. These is, are the gene drives. It took 20 years to develop the foundational technology at Imperial College London, uh, an effort that attracted over 170 million in grants from, from some of the most important uh, um, charities uh, and institutions in the world, led by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 
Our co-founders were the first to develop a CRISPR gene drive and the first and only to develop a functioning suppression gene drive. This is an unprecedented result that has attracted all this funding, but also has been validated on the most important journals for biotech. This is the reason why biosensors exist. This platform can be applied to all insects, and now we are extending it to agriculture and public health beyond malaria. The gene drive developed by our founders already showed incredible potential. In its most powerful self-sustaining configuration, it can achieve incredible results. So here we see that with just one release of a few gene drive insects, the, 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 the frequency of the gene drive increases and we can crush entire population with just one release. This is now the technological engine of one of the largest programs to eradicate malaria from Africa. At Biosentis, we use the same ingredients which make our solution extremely effective in a recipe tailored for commercial use. We already mentioned reversibility, but we also made the technology scalable. So we can easily produce our insects, sex sorting is genetically embedded, and instead of shipping truckloads of insects, adult insects, we can just come with an handful of eggs. But how this translates into the economics? Insecticide treatments cost on average $10 to $100 per hectare per year for arable crops, such as corn and soy, and $10 to 100, $100 to 1,000 for fruit and vegetables. Our solutions are expected to cost only $50, opening huge opportunities for cost-effective uh, 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 insect control. We are extending the technology quickly. We just need three to four years before we can move to pilot and food rollout. We are already working on two devastating insects, Aedes aegypti, the vector of, uh, a, a, the vector of uh, dengue and yellow fever and Zika, and Rosophia suzuki, devastating pests of cherries and berries. But we can also target some of the most devastating pests of citrus, tomato, and corn, soy, and wheat. And we have the best team to make this happen. It comprises the inventors of the technology, arguably the best genetic control scientists in the world, a dedicated data science team, and experts in business and value creation. We also secured the support of an outstanding advisory board that includes technology pioneers, regulators, industry experts, and even a Nobel laureate. If you would like to know more about what we are doing to protect society from harmful insects, please stop at our booth or drop us a line. Thank you very much.